Hello! And welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. It's been a while, I know, but uh, hey, I am still here. And uh, I got something to show you all. Uh, today, I got 11 different logic gates that are fairly important to know and can be used in a lot of your redstone builds. As well as just a lot of them are handy on their own. So let's go ahead and get into it. And the first two that we are going to be talking about today is the NAND gate and the AND gate. Uh, the NAND gate is the inverse of the AND gate. Uh, pretty much how these work. Let's start with the AND. AND, if both uh, are on, then we get an output. If only one is on, or none, we get no output. But NAND, if we have both on, there isn't an output. But if only one or none are on, then we get the output. And if you ever need any of uh, either of these, this is what they look like. Take a screenshot. All right, and then the next gate is going to be our NOT gate. Now, NOT gate is when it's not on, we get an output. When it's on, we don't get an output. It's not. And that looks like this. And it's good for a lot of redstone machines, just uh, flipping the pulse around. And we got the RS Norlatch. Now, if any of you have been following me for a while, you'll know that the person who taught me how to do redstone was Mumbo Jumbo. Uh, back in ye olden days of Minecraft. And the thing he always said in his videos was RS Norlatch. Or Snorlatch. And I'm pretty sure that was his uh, favorite phrase, at least back then when he was doing the redstone tutorials. But the way that this works is we got two different uh, buttons here. And if we hit one, then it turns on our output here and it turns off the output over there. And then hitting it again will not swap it back. But if we hit over here it swaps back and turns off that side this is good for a lot of redstone devices and machines uh, for swapping pulses around now we got an OR gate here OR gates are very similar to AND uh, but the main difference is if you have either OR uh, on then we'll get an output if both are off then there is no output and then the inverse of that, the NOR gate, if both are off, we get an output. If either one is on, or both are on, there is no output. Now we come to my two favorite logic gates here. The XOR gate and the XNOR gate. Now the reason why I like these is because I build a lot of like bridges and uh, doorways and such. Where you activate it from one side and... Uh, you want to be able to turn it off when you get inside. Uh, when I was first building a lot of those, I would put a, like, a bunch on redstone timers and you had to get through it within a certain time or else it shut on you. And those are kind of annoying. Uh, you can do uh, some with the T flip-flop, which we got down there, which I'll show at the end. Uh, but I personally like the XOR or the XNOR gate for that. So pretty much how that works is if we send a redstone signal from one end we get an output if it's from both it turns it off and then if both are off we also don't get an output so if either one is on we get an output both on or both off no output and then the x nor is the inverse of that so our output's all the way down there this thing's a bit bulky if you can't tell if we have one on and one off, there is no output. Both off, we get an output. Both on, oops, then we also get an output. And that's how they look there. Now, we also have alternate versions of both the XOR and uh, XNOR. And it looks something like this. So again, if we have one on, 
we get an output both on no output both off no output and from the back that looks like that here's your screenshot if you want it and then come over here to the XNOR again one on no signal both on signal both off we also get a signal and that one looks like this it's very similar the only difference is that block with the redstone really all right next we have a imply b and a nimply b so a imply b if we have our a input here turn it on we get an output our b input though as you see there's nothing now if we flip our a nothing so pretty much our b input it locks the system so it will not let an output through so no matter what we do with a it will not go through but as soon as we turn b off then it lights up and then a nimply b is the inverse so we have both off we have an output b again locks it and if we try doing anything with a as you see nothing happens but if we have a on and turn b off then you see it turns off the output so that is if you want a continuous one and then you want a way to lock it and unlock it that's how you do that and lastly we got t flip-flop now there are lots of ways to do a t flip-flop uh, this one is just one of the more compact one of my favorite ones uh, so we got three droppers and a hopper here and if we hit this button then we get a pulse we hit it again and then we get no output uh, so pretty much what is happening here is we got a an item uh, in this case a stone button that is traveling through these droppers every time we hit this button so right now it's down here if I hit this button it's gonna go up here over to this hopper and then down into this hopper and where it then has a comparator output which then gives us our uh, output here if we hit it again this dropper then shoots it over here there's no longer anything for the comparator so the output goes off if you like I do recommend uh, watching Mumbo Jumbo's video on T flip flops because he has a ton of different versions uh, which can fit pretty much any machine that you build that would require uh, one of these logic gates here but that is pretty much it so here's 11 basic logic gates do one last pass over if you need a clearer shot of any of these in order to build them and there we go but again I am mostly dark link thank you for joining me until next time see ya